too loud. Hey, hey America! <laughs> you wanted it bigger. You wanted it bigger. I know it. I could feel it. Yeah. You're slightly disappointed. We're gonna do it. Okay. Ready? Hi, everybody. I'm Ebony from the Appalachian Mountain Club. And I'm Mike, and I'm also from the AMC. And we're here today to talk about the 10 essentials. These are items that everyone should have in their pack, regardless of the length of this trip, that can make the difference between an enjoyable afternoon out or a panic-filled adventure. Whether it's a three-hour excursion or a three-day trip or a three-week trip, you want to make sure that you have all of these items with you. They are a must. Did you put on makeup? You should have been prepared, man. Sorry. Next time, next it's time. It's not in my essential pack. <laughs> <laughs> so I always have a map and compass, and my map is always uh, waterproof and on paper, battery powered. Anything is not something that I want to rely on when I'm in the mountains, so having a compass along with my map is really important. It helps me know where I am, and it helps me know where I'm going and how I'm getting there. A cell phone is very unreliable here in the mountains. You never know if you're going to get a signal. When all else fails and I have to call for help, I'll use a whistle. I blow on that whistle and I know somebody will hear it and they'll be drawn to me. I also bring a first aid kit. Uh, you never know what's going to happen out there. Of course, that's what this video is all about. I might get a blister, I might fall and scrape my elbow, I might cut my hand with my knife. So I carry some of those basic items, a band-aid, some antibiotic ointment, maybe I'll have a, a little ace gauze bandage. wrap, an ace bandage. Extra band-aids. Yeah, just yeah. a few of those items. It doesn't have to take up a lot of space. It's a very small first aid kit for those emergency self-repairs. Just the basics. So I'll bring extra warm clothing as well, uh, insulating clothing for the top and the bottom layer. And that way, if it does get chilly, if I do wind up spending more time out than I want to, then I'll have some warmer clothes that will help to get me through the, through the trip. I love to carry my windproof and my waterproof gear, and that includes my rain jacket and my rain pants. It makes me feel invincible. And you do feel invincible because you can walk through puddles, you still have fun in the rain, and most important, you're protected. You're protected from the wind, you're protected from the water. All of the, the heat that you're generating, you're staying insulated, and that's what's the most important about your rain gear. It's okay. Oh, Just man. It a little bit. Oh. I'm messing up your hair. Man. Go ahead, run your hair, hair hands through it. Like, do, you, do whatever you do. I don't do much. I always bring extra food and water with me as well. I bring high energy food, something that's gonna give me enough oomph to get up and over the next rise and get me back to the car. And extra water is really important as well. And a way to make more water, a way to purify the water that you might find on the trail so that I'm not drinking unpurified water that could potentially make me sick. I always have waterproof fire starter, which means waterproof matches, which is much better than a lighter because those are vulnerable to moisture. So you want to make sure that in case of an emergency, you can keep warm and start a fire whenever you need to. My 10 Essentials kit also always includes a headlamp or two or three with extra batteries. I like to carry my knife. Um, it helps so much in the kitchen. It helps with creating kindling and taking out my knots. If I'm gonna carry a knife, I wanna make sure that it's less than three inches and that I can lock it open and close it, something that's foldable. Those are the 10 essentials, and we'll be packing them. We're gonna be safe and have fun, and we hope that you do too. If you wanna learn more information, where can you go? The Mountain Skills Manual, published by the Appalachian Mountain Club. You'll find reference to many other lists in that book, as well as how to have a great time in the backcountry. That's right. There are alternatives to those 10 essentials. You can modify them depending on the season that you take your trip or where you're headed. So there are 10 essentials, there are alternative 10 essentials, and you'll find them in that skills manual. The last piece is that 11th essential, which is common sense. So make sure you use your common sense. Your 10 essentials will be with you, and you'll have a great time. We look forward to hearing about your trips. Take care. Bye bye. What? We killed it! What? Yeah, what? baby. Yeah, that baby. That was awesome. Man. High five. High five. Oh, do that way. Man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Man. All right, go, go, go.